Welcome to the second tutorial of the Redback FLG flange application. This tutorial will look at a few specific items uh, to the application of Redback. The first thing uh, we did in the first tutorial is to enter a complete flange. However, you want of course to save your data and that's done in just in a simple file. We select here save as, which can also be done from the menu. We go over to the right folder and you'll see that the extension will be FLGX. And we save the uh, information. You can see at the top that this is the file you're working on at the moment. In the first tutorial I made a mistake which we will correct now and I will show you how that mistake uh, came about. As you can see here from the drawing at the right, we see that there is only one pipe associated with the flange assembly, but we also have a second one. I can see that very conveniently from the drawing. I can correct the mistake by just setting the uh, second shell as being the same as the first one, and now we can see that this drawing is complete. We can also um, try to make another mistake and see how that works out if I for example take a spiral wound which is not inch, uh, 8 inch but for example I made a mistake I make it 4 inch then the drawing would look like this and as you can see the gasket is uh, inside uh, the flange rather than being at the right position I will correct that mistake right now and this will look much better. This particular um, image is generated as being some sort of CAD program actually. If I use my mouse wheel I can zoom in at specific parts if I want to and I can do that for each drawing. The drawing here, uh, the detailed drawings are with basic uh, dimensions already indicated but if you need to verify any of these dimensions you can use for example this tool I click I go to the intersection to the end of the line and I will see that it is indeed the 27 which is indicated uh, over here I can close this measuring tool by selecting this button and I can do a full zoom all again over here and that works for all of these drawings which are being generated. The whole drawing as such or detailed drawings can be saved as a DXF file and you will be able to edit them uh, with a, a proper uh, CAT uh, application. The window as such has a few nice tools. For example, if you go with your mouse over the splitter between the various sections, you will see that the cursor changes, which makes it possible, for example, to make this smaller or larger as need be. This one you can make smaller. Currently my window is quite small to uh, show you the details otherwise the image becomes uh, too small. I can even if necessary close this section completely and then recover it back again like this. Sometimes you want to do some uh, calculations and that can be done with a calculator. With the tools we have a calculator which is then shown here at the site and we can here enter data and uh, do some simple calculations for validation or for dimension verification or whatever. Another specific item to the flange application and to uh, actually other calculators uh, applications from Redback are these reporting possibilities. 
As you see here, we have a summary report, but we also have detail report, material report, last iteration, all iteration, unit tests uh, report. The purpose of these unit test uh, reports are to make sure that the developers of the software did not make any mistakes in editing their formulas. If we run a unit test summary report, you will see that all these unit tests uh, are being uh, tested. As you can see, there are all sorts of formulas here, and for this particular application, 410 tests have been done. If you want to see what the content is of such a test, you take the unit test detail report, you do calculate, and you will get all these formulas in detail being tested. As you can see, uh, the formula, they have a number, uh, they have all the variables indicated, the values that have been part of this particular test, and the results, and this result, and this one will uh, be the same. If we, for example, take these values here, I copy the text, the result is 68.5, I will use the calculator, I enter the text, and you'll see that it is indeed 68.5. You could argue that this calculator makes the same mistakes as um, these formulas over here, but I can assure you this thing is completely separate from what is happening over here. If you look at uh, different other reports, we have seen the summary report, which is especially useful when you're designing a flange and you want to see very quickly um, the overview of the design conditions for this particular report, uh, some of the main properties. These are the required values for the leak tightness and you can see the loading of the various components and also the rotation of the flange whether that is still in a valid range. Usually the detail report is part of your reporting to your customer and yet then you get a full detail report with all the intermediate results for such a flange assembly. Even more specific for this um, application is for example you want to know where all these properties are coming from and how they are calculated. You can then run the material report and you will get for all these allowable stresses which formula has been used, where it got its information from, which material is being used and so on and you will get that for all the properties which have been used uh, in, in the calculation. These values are generated when you do a refresh uh, properties and now they are listed uh, over here for your uh, reference. If you want for example to see uh, the last iteration uh, validation because the EN5091 does uh, a lot of iterations, uh, you can see those results if you calculate uh, and set it to the last iteration validation. Then you get the report of all the formulas with the results of the last time the application passed that particular formula. So you get the final results with all these formulas and all the uh, um, values which have been used for the various variables. Even further you can go into all iteration uh, validation and you do can do a calculate however uh, this is a report that takes uh, almost uh, 40 pages and then you get all the input which is mentioned over here and then you get all these formulas if you want to do an assessment of the en5091 this is a useful report uh, because you, for example, can limit it uh, to only one formula. I take here a formula 53, which is actually uh, a calculation of the uh, effective gasket width. We have here a spiral wound, and it has the tendency to use always the full gasket seating width, rather than that it is only 
leaning on the outside of this uh, this gasket and again I can check what the dimensions are over here uh, I did not do that properly uh, let's look over here you can see that it is 15.15 millimeters the to total width so you see that it uses the total width this was the end of the second tutorial thank you for watching and see you next time